All right, everyone, welcome to another Star Wars Old Republic video. And in this video, I will be talking about the newest and best ways to convert your cartel coins to credits. Now, I know that a lot of people don't have those many cartel coins, but you can actually make many millions of credits a month just by using your 500 cartel coin monthly stipend if, of course, you are a subscriber. I also have a link to a video in the description about how you can get many free cartel coins. Now be aware it is a pretty old video and I cringe a little bit every time I listen to it because the narration is so old and uh, my video style is pretty inexperienced but I think it can still be helpful and it's gotten a lot of positive feedback as well. Now life day is happening right now and if you want to make the best use of your coins you're going to want to purchase some of these items right away because when life day ends come January all of these items will disappear and uh, from the recent trend of life day events we don't really see these items reappearing and so it's going to be a really good idea to buy them and then maybe sell them in the summer or in September because many months will have gone by and these items will be super super rare. Now I would say disregard the festive tuning because it doesn't look too nice. It's only selling for around 4 million credits on Harbinger's GTN and it does cost a very hefty 1,100 cartel coins. So all in all, it's a pretty useless item. However, the festive Tauntaun and the Wampa Companion, they are both very unique items and they cost the same amount. They both cost 2,100 cartel coins. However, the Wampa Companion is selling for almost double on the GTN. This means that the Wampa Companion is unequivocally the best thing to buy from the cartel market at the moment in order to make credits off the GTN. Now, it does cost a very hefty 2100 cartel coins, however, I have not seen it drop below 20 mil on the GTN. This is on the Harbinger server of course, but I am sure that it is similar across servers. Now the companion itself is very nice, it is massive, it has some very awesome abilities and this is no doubt probably one of the nicest and most popular beast companions to hit the game so far. So if you want to make the most credits, I would suggest that you pick up the Wampa companion, hold on to it until around the end of January, early February and by then life day will be over, meaning the Wampa companion will no longer be available on the cartel market. Also, enough time will have passed so that any of these companions that are left on the GTN that are going for relatively low prices will be bought up. Now, I have no doubt that the price of this companion will skyrocket and it will probably become one of the more rarer companions in the game like the Act Dog from the Underworld Alliance packs, which is unobtainable at the moment and or it's selling for like obscene amounts on the GTN. Now, of course, I would assume that most people don't have 2100 cartel coins uh, because, you know, if they're just saving up their 500 cartel coins a month, usually they're not able to rack up that, that big of a, of a number. But they are more likely to have around 500 to 1000 cartel coins simply by saving up their monthly rewards for being subscribers. Now, for those players, I would suggest buying and selling command boosts these things do sell very very well as you can see in the video i sold two of them for close to three million credits each but at the moment they have actually dropped to around two million on harbinger's gtn so that means that when i sold them for uh, three million credits each i was selling them right at the peak when there weren't many on the gtn recently the gtn has been a little bit flooded however i have not seen them drop below 1.8 million credits each and i don't think they will drop below that because when they do people are very quick to buy them up everyone's trying to grind their command cxp now this is easily one of the best conversions of cartel coins to credits and i would argue that as long as you sell this boost for more than 1.5 million credits per boost they are definitely worth it to sell now let's do some math to quickly prove my point now i'm going to use individual cartel packs as a base for the conversion of cartel coins to credits cartel packs sell for around 1.2 million credits each and on average they cost around 200 cartel coins so that means that one cartel coin is being converted to 6,000 credits. We can also take a look at the Outlander tokens. These things cost 2,000 cartel coins and they sell for around 10 to 12 million credits. So this is a conversion of one cartel coin to 5,500 credits. Now once again, we can use those as the generally accepted conversion rates of cartel coins to credits because there are always people buying up these cartel packs and buying up these Outlander tokens and then putting them up on the GTN. So we'll use those as a base. Now command boost costs you 200 cartel coins. You should be able to sell them for around 1.8 million credits 
at the least. Usually you can actually sell them for more. So that is a conversion of one cartel coin to 9,000 credits. Now a much better conversion rate of cartel coins to credits than anything we have seen so far. Uh, as you guys can see, 3,000 credits per cartel coin higher than what you would be doing if you were uh, buying up car cartel packs and then selling those on the GTN. Keep in mind that if you do buy the Wampa Companion and hold onto it for a very long time, you could potentially hold, be holding onto a really rare item that people who may have missed the Life Day event, event are willing to pay an insane amount of credits for. So anyways, that kind of concludes the video. The take home message is that if you have enough cartel coins, buy, onto the, buy the Wampa, hold onto it until around February or longer if you can wait longer and then make the big bucks later. Or you can just simply play it safe and buy some command boosts for 200 cartel coins each or the bundle where you can pick up 5 of them for 800 cartel coins and then simply get the maximum conversion of cartel coins to credits. So that is the end of this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys found it informative. This is simply from my own personal experience and it's also very specific to the Harbinger server. That's what I'm basing all these prices off of. However, I have found that the Harbinger server is usually a good base because a lot of other servers are similar to it. But then again, if you are on a different server like the Red Eclipse, you're probably going to want to try and test out these conversions yourself before you make any big purchases. Also, I will be doing a video in the near future dealing with how to get lots of free cartel coins, basically an updated version of my, uh, of my old one. And so, um, yeah, so if you guys are looking for quick ways to get cartel coins, stay tuned for that video. I do hope you guys enjoyed this one though, and I will see you in the next one.